Welcome to Digital Scrapper Tutorials. I'm Linda Satgast with a lesson on one of the cool new features of Photoshop Elements 9, Style Match. We're going to take an ordinary digital photo and turn it into a grungy high key photo. Start by selecting an appropriate photo. So here in the organizer, I would click on a thumbnail and then come up to the file menu and choose new and come down to photo merge style match. If you've already opened a photo in the editor portion of Photoshop Elements 9, then click on the guided tab in the upper right corner and then come down to photo merge and click on style match. From here you can easily follow the bouncing ball. It tells you right over here to drag style image here. Photoshop Elements comes loaded with some preset styles down here in the style bin, including this very interesting image called Colored Truck. I'll click and drag it from the style bin into the style box and my photo will change to that style. To tone the image down a little bit, you can move the style intensity slider to the left and I might move this over maybe a couple of notches. Also, you can move the style clarity and enhance details sliders. Style clarity will give you extra sharpening, but I think we have enough sharpening in this image. And enhanced details tends to posterize the image, so I usually leave these two at the default setting. You might find it helpful to come down here to the lower left corner to the view menu, open it up, and click on the before and after. And the horizontal one will show them side by side like this, left and right. To erase some of the style effect in selected areas, like maybe right over his face a little bit, you can click on the Style Eraser tool. Now if you just click and drag with the brush, you can see it will take you right back to the original photo. To paint the style back in, click on the Style Painter brush and then you can just click and drag over that area and it paints the style back in. But we want something kind of halfway in between what we had before and what we have now. So to get a more subtle effect, come up to the options bar and reduce the opacity of your brush. I'll bring mine down to around 50%. Sometimes you need to go even lower. And now I'll click on the style eraser brush and to make my edges of my stroke softer, I will move this slider over to the right, soften stroke edges. Now I can click and drag here. and that will change it just a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. So when you're satisfied, click on the Done button. Click on the Full Edit button and you'll see that Photoshop Elements has actually put the effect on its own layer with a layer mask. So if you know how to use layer masks, you can continue to tweak your photo if you wish. Once you're satisfied, come up to the menu bar and choose Layer flatten image. Now you can save it with a new name so you don't overwrite the original file. So there you have an easy way to create a grungy high-key photo. I'm Linda Sadgast with Digital Scrapper Tutorials.